Scott Brown here. The holiday was extended slightly longer than I thought it would be. But we're back, and I thought today we'd discuss why builders have so many hand saws. Look at that. I thought today would be as good a day as any to talk about handsaws because I have my latest handsaw here courtesy of Gaston, Piranha Tools. You remember him from this video over here. Since I put that video up, he had a lot of people buying tools off him, so as a thank you, he sent me this for Christmas. Thanks, Gaston. You're a legend. So why would a builder have a couple of crazy looking handsaws like this? Well, these are the Gikoshu Razor saws. I think they're called Ryobi or Ryo Ryoba. Anyway, it's Japanese and it means the blade has two saw lines and each one does a different job. One side has a cross cut blade here and the other side has a rip cut blade. Cross cut for going across the grain and rip cut for going with the grain. Now the new one he gave me is thicker so it's better for cutting framing and larger timber well this one here is thinner maybe more of a woodworking saw than a um than a builder's saw that's how i'm going to use it anyway steel is strong in tension but weak in compression that's why if you don't have much experience and you try to use one of these if you get it off center a little bit it's very easy for the blade to go like that but with the Japanese saw, the blade is switched around so the cut stroke is when you're pulling the saw rather than pushing the saw. And the tension that the blade is then in keeps you from going like that. Now one of my other Japanese style saws is this one here by Silky. It's called the Silky Woodboy. As you can see here, it has a spline on the back of it. Now that spline helps to keep the blade rigid, say dovetails if you're making like a drawer or some sort of cabinetry. This keeps it nice and straight. And as you can see the blade here is very fine. I think this was my first Japanese carpentry saw. Um, I started getting into them after watching Samurai Carpenter actually, who I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. And uh, since making that switch, I have had no regrets. What did you mean? Now this one here is very thin, so you're able to bend like so. The thing that makes it unique though is the blade is very flat. So if you look super close on this saw here, you can see the teeth are going side to side ever so slightly. Now this helps with the cut, but the downside is if you use this saw to cut something flush, whatever you're cutting it flush against will then be scratched up by those side to side teeth. Whereas this sucker here is flat. So if you've got a dowel sticking out that you've glued and it's dried and you go to cut it flush, you can do it with this saw and not worry about scratching the surface of the timber. It's a great idea. A lot of people will know what this is, but in case you do not, this is basically for cutting tricky things, corner, like circles and getting in areas where the back of a traditional saw might get in the way. You can cut something all the way over here and still have the outside of that piece in here. Does that make any sense? Now last and some would say least, the European handsaw. I still like these, I still buy them all the time. Every now and then you need to cut timber that is heavily treated or is wet and you just need something that would hack away at it. And that is why I always have one of these in my van. So to recap why a builder has so many handsaws, Think about the different jobs the handsaws need to do. This is your cross cutting, rip cutting, fine timber, all purpose pull saw. This is your cross cutting, rip cutting, harder timber, framing timber pull saw. This is your flush cutting, don't scratch the surface, pull bendy, beautiful little handy flush cut saw. And this is your spline, hold the blade straight, straight little timber. <laughs> Your coping saw for doing copes and your European hand saw for those jobs that 
you don't want to ruin all the other saws with. Now this was by no means a comprehensive guide to hand saws. It's just some of the hand saws that I use. So if you have other suggestions for hand saws that a, a builder might find useful, I'm always keen to use new ones. So comment below. Without further ado, why don't we do some carpentry? Why don't you Oh, it's bloody hot. 28 degrees Celsius, right in the middle of summer. It was far more comfortable at the beach, I tell you. Now a lot of you guys will recognize this job. And for those who don't, this is my mum's place. And we're officially in year three of this deck. Three years. 2017, 2018, and now that it's January the 10th, uh, 2019. I've put everything to one side. We've got a couple of jobs that we're meant to be at, but I am doing this until it's done. So all I gotta do is put the decking around there. Gotta replace this with that stuff and finish it once and for all. Look at all this carnage. All that carnage was necessary in order to finish the deck. All of this is done. We replaced all that because it was bouncing and yeah, now it looks great. And now you can, boom, stand on there, come up here, and then it gets very bright. And then come up here, come up here, 100%, now three years in the making, deck. It's done. It's all done. Now I've just got to clean up this bloody mess. Okay. Oh, like whatever one's on offer. No, there's a shit lot. No, I free. There's so many free books. Yeah? Everything you could ever imagine. Oh my god. Oh yeah?